na naman ang red side at ang two picks na pagkasunod. Honestly, Ivas SG, if they don't pan out Ling in this phase, medyo, ano, medyo parang pinaril nila yung sarili nila sa paa. Execration, they still looking like they're playing against Blacklist International, but that is to be forgiven. Knowing na, again, Ivas SG adapted a lot. Uy, hindi na sa screen pong ano. Uy, pero bakit sa atin nanonood si, ano, si SG? Wow, okay, ibang 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 team, ibang team yun. Oh, wait, ibang team ba yun? Ibang team yun. Oh, okay, they still ban out the glue. Ivas SG respecting the, uh, the hero pool of Execration. But remember, Execration, their first pick. Ang dami first pick material ni Execration, there's the Lunox, there's the Selena, there's the Kufra, and there's also the Benedetta. And looking at the bands right now, no? it was SG, Execration, and as you said earlier, Midnight, talagang they're looking towards the same type of bands. And feeling ko, ah, it was SG, they're still quite confident on how they drafted in first game. Alam nila that it should have worked out for them, pero hindi ko mana. They're still sticking to what worked at least on the most part, and maybe adjust yung mga konting microplay na nagkamali sila na mamaya pa natin makikita. Execration, tatanggalin nila ulit ang yeah. Matilda. This is very much identical sa first game bans natin for yeah. Execration. Yeah, yun yung ano, yun yung sinasabi natin kanina na sobrang typical nito for Execration that they opt to ban out Matilda as last kasi tinitignan nila yung viable options especially when they're second pick. Talagang hindi nila pinapakita yung Matilda ban kasi they want to pressure the first pick team to pick up the Matilda. Now, they're on the first pick. They're telling Evo sa SG na wala kaming balak mag Matilda like ever, like legit, no? Kasi ang, again, ang mga first big materials dito for Exe is Selena, Lunox, uh, okay, there you go, the, the Eve ban, it was SG opted to ban out the Eve. This is probably a Selena first pick for Execration. Mm-hmm. Let's see. First three bans for both teams, natanggal na nila, and Execration, taking their time, hindi sila nagmamadali, ang daming options to open, you still have the Benedetta, you still even have a Johit, you can even pick a Kufra if you want to, ang dami talagang pwede. Well, for the side of Evo's SG, para sa akin, napaka-familiar na opponent yung ganitong drafting na ginagawa ng Execration. Eh. It's like you drafted for your grand finals para sa ito, Execration. And Execration, feeling ko nga, pwede pa nilang ilabas. May, sa tingin nyo ba, may ilalabas pa silang main farams dito? <laughs> pag, I mean, pag nag first week sa linya, sila pa, ah, ah, de, de. mukhang ilalabas nila ang Johel. Magkakaroon ba ng seminar dito si Chuck no? kung paano mag-Johel and execration they definitely go for aggressive play style and ito napaka-aggressive ni Johel especially if early game ang usapan kanina nga lang do it was SG they got the Johel pero hindi tayo nakikita ng aggressive rotations from Ipos SG they used that of Johel a little bit defensively at talagang nag-go-go lang sila for skirmishes on actual big fights well again that's the problem of facing a Grok as a Johel you can't literally Uh, make any uh, offensive moves uh, without a flicker kasi yun lang yung option mo na mag-flicker kaya hanapin mo yung target sa likod ni Grok then try to take down that target kasi nga ang ginagawa lang ni Jack is para sa shooting dito now I like the Johan first pick from Execration this is them understanding that Evo's SG or Singapore in general doesn't really pick the Selena on the first two picks lagi nilang tinatur pick Selena or banned on the second phase so they opted to go for the Johan para makuha nila yung maximized zero pull with Jack no and they let go of the Granger Benedetta para makuha nila yung Selena. So this is overall good understanding from Execration as to how Singapore likes playing with the two picks on the red side. This is quite scary for the side of Execration. This is the tempo setting heroes na hinahanap ng Execration. If they ever command yung rhythm nga, katulad sinabi natin, if they want to be aggressive, they can. But right now, heroes, that's si Harith. It's a 100%. Oh, okay na. Pwede na. Pwede na. <laughs> ano pwede na? Hindi ko nakita. 100% win rate si Harith. Nako eh, siyempre, one game pa lang, pero 100%. One games. One games. Four games. Four games. Four games. So much for na. Ayaw nga pala, sorry. Akala ko for this match na. Pero yeah, 100% will be done this Harit. Plus, a Selena pick from eto, Max. So, nabanggit any butters dito na merong tempo control lang Evo's SG. But for execration, feeling ko, yung tempo control nila, may skill shot lang. Kung baga pag kumagat ang kanilang abyssal arrow o kumagat yung eject sa tamang target, mapipreak nila yung tempo na meron ang Evo's SG. But I love this popular group of pick, ha? Talagang gusto nilang tapatan at ibigay ng Selena. Uh-huh. And, 
Bullet Kupa, Evo Seshi, that is going to be their pick. And uh, execration, Dunox naman na kanila pinanggalwin for Evo Seshi. Pinanggal nila yung Lord na pwedeng gamitin ni Kiel VJ. Actually, I like that. I like the Pokemon Kupa pickup from Evo Seshi. There's no Farsa potential anymore as they already saw the Selena and Harith. Now you have to take, uh, take out the Lancelot of Kiel VJ. Even if it's not the best assassin in execution has played, it's really good against the lineup of Evo's SG. Your Popperin Koopa, Benedetta, and Granger, napakahirap labanan itong Lancelot if you have these three uh, heroes. Unless they're willing to let go of the Lancelot and pick up something uh, on the side lane, like for example the Paras. Para lang may ma ma maximize nila yung, uh, yung fact na pwede kasing i-pick ni Execration yung Selena, tsaka Lancelot. So most likely parang, uh, alam mo, tinetelegraph lang ni Evo's SG. Okay, maglala si Selena sa XE, eh. ang ganda ng first pick para sa akin, sa atin sa second phase. Yeah, and they ban out the Pakito. Ibig sabihin, in-open nila. It's sinasabi mong Lancelot and Execration. They ban out the Varsa. Even if we, uh, it's more of a reactive. Yep. Baga, ayaw nilang may kalaban yep. na Varsa on Evo's SG side. Now, they have actually a daming options ng Execration dito ngayon against Evo's SG. The Selena against the Popol and Kupa alone would be a battle of information. But apart from that, the tempo could easily switch between two teams. That early damage coming in from Granger and Benedetta versus yung early potential na tumama yung mga skill shots nito ni Selena to the follow-up of the Joe. And again, Execration versus Evo's SG based on the first three picks alone, talagang magiging Ito, ano yung term nyo doon? Yung pag sobrang ma-action yung well, rating? Your team Bakbakan. is taken. Bakbakan? Well, balagbaga. Balagbaga. Ng action Jackson. Action Jackson. Madami. Hinahanap ko yung term eh. Kasi mayroong action Jackson eh. Oh, marami. Ayun yung Lance. Ayun yung Lance. Ayun yung Lance. Ayun yung Lance. Lance and Tyranos. Ang last pick ng expiration. Last two picks rather. Evo's SG. They go for Rafaela. Which means, there is a probability na kumuha na na sila ng tank side trader. Kasi nga medyo kulang yung kanilang ano eh, tank potential. There's two, ano eh, there's two uh, ways to go about this for US SG. Tama yung sinabi ni Banis kanina, tank. Uh, Semi-tank actually, they're like uh, the heroes of uh, Yuzo, mm. Babarats. Uh, Pero one thing that they could go for is they can flex the Benedetta x and they can actually go for a Hayabusa gold lane. Wow, that is gonna be a big turn for Evo's SG if ever. But I want to point out the Rafaela pick. I like this Rafaela pick mainly because it answers a lot of the... Oh wow, they're actually gonna flex the Benedetta but they're not gonna go for a gold lane Hayabusa. They're gonna go for the Alice instead in the gold lane. Panapat dito kay Ketra. It is a great catch. Madali siyang makapag-zone out ng mga tao sa isa-sakit nila ng mga comfort zone. Specifically, yung mga Zaman Force. And uh, this is going to be interesting. Evo's SG, are they gonna take us to a game number three? But right now, we will introduce the players with their heroes. At kung hindi tayo papangap sa lahat of Dawn, yung bilog na naman ay lalabas anytime soon. Hindi nyo naman ginawa eh. Ba't yung sa akin inaasa lahat? Ay, pasensya na kapatid. Papasok na tayo sa ating game na... Ano yan? Ako na play-by-play. Ako pa sound effects. Siyempre. Siyempre. Kaya ka nga. Alam mo, alam mo, dagdag pa yun. 500 per game. 500 per sound effects. Pero mamaya na tayo. Mamaya na tayo sa sound effects. Let's head out to the Celestial Palace for game number two. The Evo SG versus Execrations. And napaka... I think this is standard rotations coming in for the side of Evo's SG. Medyo gusto lang nilang mag, maging safe, kumbaga. Tinitikitan na nila si Granger. Alam nila kung ano nangyari ni Game 1. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I would have preferred the uh, the Esmeralda pick for uh, Evo's SG over the Alice. Kasi gets ko yun, gets ko yung idea. You're against uh, Uranus, pero you're also against a Haren. Medyo losing match na kagad yun for Evo's SG. Esmeralda was the perfect pick if they want to go that route. No, yung mage uh, side lane na kaya lumaban against Execration. Then again, what uh, what Alice provides for Evo's SG is the constant lane pressure and the mobility factor of the hero. Something that is really important against the likes of Selena's, uh, Lancelot, even you know, even against the Johan. And Evo's SG right Oy. now. Girl, mukhang babagsak pero very low HP lang pala. Uh, good thing there's a purify dot just to uh, bail himself out. Pero kasi ang papasin mo dito for Evo's SG, dalawang purify na nila ang down. 
And this is gonna be big for execration dahil ang first turtle natin ay spawn ng 35 seconds from now at medyo malayo pa ang cooldown ng purifies na yun. It's gonna be a big advantage for execration. Kendra, confidence showing already with that TP. Bino, binabawi yan. Ano kanina ng game 1? Ah, pinatay mo ako. Oh. Yung looking ka sa akin sa matchup. Nakit ka sa akin. Pero alam mo, uh, focusing on Evo's SG a bit more dito. Soul, he is one mean Benedetta player. Ito sa mga favorite heroes niya, oh, ginamit niya ito halos dati. But Soul will just try to get away. Ayaw niya makipag, ano, ayaw niya makipagsuntukan. Medyo mas mahaba kasi yung spada ni Kill VG niyo. Mm -hmm. Medyo mas masakit. Level 4 na rin ang Lancelot na rin sa level 3 Benedetta. So medyo egol talaga. They don't want to go for that fight. Pero Turtle ha, bilis bumagsak. Mabilis talaga bumagsak, man. Pero yun, hindi mabilis ang pagpa... Hindi... Hindi mabilis. Well, mabilis. Mabilis. Mabilis yung pagpagsak. Sa sobrang sakto. bilis ka, akala mo hindi na mabilis. Oo. Oh, eh. oh, oh. Sa sobrang bilis, akala ko hindi na mabilis. Tama yan. Sa ano ka? Oh, kill DJ. Nakuha niya yung turtle. Pero hindi natin nakikita yung pagsak baba. So, isipin nyo na lang. Siya yung nakakuha niya. Oo nga. And that gives execution a big gold lead at least for the early game. First blood plus turtle. That's an immediate 800 gold lead para sa execution. Ano kayong gagawin nila dito sa tempo na sa sila yung nag-start? Kumbaga sila yung naglapad ng unang paha sa sayaw na mangyayari in this game. Mm -hmm. And tingnan mo ah, yung pwesto dito na execution doon sa mapa ng Evo sa SG, masyado silang tapak dito sa may mismong kitnada ng tier 2 at tier 3 turrets. Gusto po mo na single bond turrets yun. Nako? Eh, baka nga nasa Poland na itong papasok na doon sa inibit. Ano gusto po munta? Di ba nasa single bond? Oo, kapala ko nga pala. Tama naman, tama naman. Anyway, dito sa execution for the Lancelot. Again, sabi mo kanina na sila yung unang kumapak dito sa dance floor ng execution. They should. They have a Selena so they can get they can take resources much faster compared to Evo's SG and they're also playing Lancelot. As a, as a Lancelot in a game, you'd want to establish at least a thousand gold lead. Then you start taking up the resources of the enemy. Kasi kailangan leading ka talaga against the enemy para ma-burst on mo yung mga targets na gusto nyo patay. And the soul, ah, magiging target sa may kabila. But Kelra, still alive! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Grabe yun! Ang galing ni Kelra dito, kumahanap ng lusot dun sa rotation ng apat na tao. Apat na tao? Ibo sa Shane, apat yun. Apat na tao ang iniwasan ni Kelra. Pero they're gonna go for the third instead. At bukang wala na magagawa ang execration. Joke lang! Naubusan ng minion! Naubusan ng minion hindi potato. They might just actually give this up kasi nandito si Chuck Noo. Yeah. Ayaw nila pahuli pa. And uh, si Pokemon dito. Oh! oh Naman, na stop of the force. Funny. Pero look at that arrow. Protection. Chuck to max. Nako. It's gonna be another Pokemon na nahuli. Game 2 na, Gatakachimol pa rin, Butters. Gatakachimol, Kenra. Wala na siyang Torre dito, pero he seems to be happy kasi it, nakakuha siya ng isang kill and never pa siya natitake down kahit yung format rotation na naganap. And speaking of four-man rotations, nakagad din naman ang execration doon sa taas. Actually, ah, habang nangyayari yung four-man rotation, nagkaroon ng cross-map play si execration, sila pa nakakuha ng kill. It's a third for a kill at mukhang turtle pa nga mag-assessure ng execration dito. At least may steel na magagana pero lance yung kanyan at soulful na. Napakahirap agawan niya. Third Rose Retribution, lahat na, lahat ng klase ng burst damage yung soul makita. Pwede niya ibigay at kaya niya tanyahin yun. Cool. And eh, sa kanyang damage output and so hindi niya kinakaya si Fred Joe dito. Oo, oh, ma ma malang kumbaga parang exorcist. Pinato pa nga si Pokemon, karakatsi mo na naman. At eto si Pokemon na naman ang pinaka-target pero hindi nga siya tutupa. And speaking of tutupa, at mukhang tutupa dito si Soul pero grabe ang damage pa to Mexico. And girl, potato, Kel. sila ang target dito ni Kel, pero Kel forced to go out. Grabe yung, grabe yung ruta niya doon. Grabe yung ruta niya doon. Nakita mo ba yun? Oo, oh, para naka-GPS no? Naka-GPS. Uh, Lumiko, pagdating sa ganyan. Never ka pwedeng mawala. Sabi sa kanya ng GPS niya doon, pagka-dash mo kayo, ano, pagka-dash mo doon yung Pokemon, turn left, tapos turn right. And Chakno, nakahuli ng isang, nakahuli ng isang member dito. Soul goes down, Pokemon goes down, and Chalvi J wants more! Definitely wants more! And kinagat siya ni Kichu 
dito. Masyadong mabilis palibasan. Naka Smart 5G. Sobrang bilis talaga ang pasok doon ni ang kuya mo Kiel VJ. Pero nakagat eh. Kung baga, sa so, ano ba yung pag tumakbo ka ng mabilis sa aso? Mas nalo ka ahabulin. Pero sa side track ko lang kayo, si Nolo Kiel Diento Max si Sosa Tapo. Ay, nako. Alam mo, tama. Alam mo, pag-usapan natin yan. Si Nolo Kiel, yung Selena, yung Benedetta, gano'ng kakalupit para magawa mo yun? Medyo dito, naiwasan lahat ng bullets. Pero yung last bullet pala ay tatama pa rin. Nagantay si Pote ito na mahawakan ng alis para straight line. Hindi niya kailangan mag-isipo sa niya ipapot. Oo, eh kung puyon yung tipo na pag hindi pa tumama, eh kasalanan mo na yun. Wala nang slow, na snare pa nga. Yung Pote ito, he lands all of the bullets at mukhang papasukin dito si Ken PJ. Batong execution in! At gusto niya lang talaga mag-take down nung ganong mga minions. Pero... Wow, Evos, JPL, tatakbo lang sila. And it seems to me na mas magiging maganda para sa kanila yung pag-take down ng turrets at pag-control ng mapa. Yeah. Again, bumabalik tayo sa signature playstyle ni Evos SG, yung constant pressure sa objectives. And this is where you start seeing the benefits of having an alice. Kahit hindi ganun kaganda yung start niya sa leading stage, the presence, no, yung threat, na kapag nag-objective sila, may isang hero na, big, na pwedeng biglang pumasok against execration. Mm -hmm. And Jack 2 going in, ladies and gentlemen. At oh, ang dami oh, wow. si niya. And Kelra, Zaman Force, hinahabol si Potato. And Potato can get out. Si JPL ang pinaka next target para sa kanila. And Jack 2, yung hinahabol Ooh. kanina. Siya na ang nahahabol pabalik. At natakas na sila doon. Keeping the casualties low. No, wala man sa kanila si Eto Max. Pero nakakita pa. Pero sinamahan mo pa ng isa. Makulit, makulit. Pumasok pa ulit at binigyan, binigyan ng execration. And execration ha, akala mo malapit na bumagsak si Chuck. No? Pero hindi siya bumagsak ng walang kante. Flicker out, binalik, no, binalibag sa buong tropa. Pokemon na naman. At sa dami sana pwede puntahan ni Pokemon doon. Kaso hinarangan lahat ni Eto Max. And execration, they definitely control the tempo right now. 3K gold lead and a 7K, a 7 kill lead as well for execration at nakatata ng third sa kanila din na punta. Yeah, honestly, this is something that you would expect on the side of execration whenever they get joined in Selena. And gusto ko yung item build up ni Renzio, ah, yung uh, brute force press plate first, uh, press plate first item. Siya yung kumaga parang CCTV naman this time around, hindi na si Chapo. Kasi ang trabaho ni Chapo dito is to set up and make sure na may mapapatay kagad sila sa side ng EVOS SG. Kaya ang ganda nung play niya kanina, nung uh, akala, akala natin si execration yung Luke, eh. pero pumasok si Chapo sabi niya, ah, kala nyo, di ako lalaban, ha. Tingnapo niya papalik si Potato para maabot siya ni KLBJ at ni Kedra. Slowly but surely, yung members dito ng EVOS SG, kumukuha sila ng Torre, left and right, habang si Renjo naman, kinokontrol niya nung baba para makuha yung oh. mga turret. Renjo? This looks like the second turret at 1 HP, hindi pa tutumba dito, pero sabi nila kay Elra, ah, sige, may sumagot doon, kunin na natin itong nasa taas, at palitin na natin ang mundo ng EVOS SG. Dami, kunwari na lang, hindi ko nakita yung holy baptism na yun. But right now, there is a fight happening, ladies and gentlemen, Evo Zone. Next target, Kelra, is going crazy sa mga bagay na ginagawa niya dito. And I feel I feel like Evo was SG, ha? they could have gotten that fight. Kaso hindi talaga tumama yung holy baptism ng Rafaela. If they got Kelra early with that ultimate, that could have been a different story. Pero nabigyan ng free reign si Kelra dahil nga doon sa hindi tumama ultimate. Zaman force na pag, only dash, only damage. And kita naman kung gano'n nakasakit si Kelra at this part of the game. 5-0-4. Unaharit. This is a dominating performance coming out from execration. Evo's SG. Considering na sobrang ganda ng start nila, it seems to me na hindi talaga nila mahawakan yung kalamangan na meron sila pagdating sa early game papuntang mid-game. Yeah, medyo ano eh, medyo nakikita din kasi natin yung place na ng Evo's SG. They're really Oy, not good. Oy! Tinamahan na naman! Sabo! Isa pa! Ay! Bukang may takas! Sip na, sip na. Epas siya doon, epas siya. Pero punti ka na naman ni Renzio. Makatakas kaya ka siya dito. Final bullet pa ito ka. But still, fact remains, kahit matake down yung si Renzio, there is still pressure on other sides of the map. And mabasilin nyo, it takes a lot of resources. Ang dami resources na nasasayang kapag tinitake down mo ang isang Uranus at full HP. Yeah. And again, 
again, sa lahat. We, we go back to the idea na si Ibas SG, hindi nila talaga playstyle na kailangan nila protectan si Potato. As much as possible, they want to be the ones who are pre pulling the pressure against Execration. But then again, you are playing into Assassins. Actually, ang daming pwedeng pampatay ng Execration to anybody on the side of Ibas SG. Kapag kinamaka ka ng araw, patay ka. Kapag nahuli ka ni Chakno, patay ka. Kapag nakita ka ni Kel VJ, patay ka rin. So, ang daming options na Execration to get pick ups And at the same time, yung teamfight nila, lamang pa sila kasi yung teamfight ng Ibas SG, it's an, it's an Alice, and you naturally just lose to Ahare. And looking at the stats right now for Evos SG, I feel like they should not be able to get out of the damage. But then again, the Benedetta is 0-4-0. They should not be able to get out of the damage here. They have two supports, sure. But they have a Benedetta. Kaso nga lang, 0-4-0. The moment na hindi magkaroon ng maraming items, or at least two items on time, ang isang Benedetta, eh medyo kukulangin talaga ang damage. Even when you land the Alexo final blow. But you do have to remember, late game potential, there is some in Evo's SG. The Alice is there. Considering pa na talagang kailangan pang iset up, kailangan pa talagang patagalin yung laro para sa kanila ngayon. But for the side of execution, they do have the Harit. Meron pa silang Kel VJ dito at Eto Max na kayang mag-pick up ng kahit sino at moment, at certain moments. And si Chak too, pwede pa siya maghain ng kills para sa teammates niya. This might be dangerous for execution. They will be securing this Lord. Pero konti na lang eh. That could have been a 3v5 or a 3v4 for Evo's SG. Pero hindi nila kinuha. They didn't risk it. Yeah, things will about to be become worse for Evo's SG. The pickup na yung Divine Glaive kay Kelrad. That Harith, yung damage output itong taong to, it's gonna hurt a lot on the side of Evo's SG. Yeah, this all tumatakbo. Tinatakbo niya talaga at yung Evo's SG, hindi na sila lumalayo doon sa kanilang mga, doon sa kanilang base. Alam nila na sobrang daming pick of potential na meron niya excitation na isang balik tamak niyo lang. Literal, kaya kayo pasabugin. And Renjo gets out. Oh, pero nahuli sa likod si Potato. At ganun katagal yung pagkakadisable sa kanya. Kedra, ayan, nakaganda ng isa. Magsak dito si Alice at mga Tore ang susunod nila. And that's a one for one. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Arrow. Wala namang nangyayari. Wala namang pala. Wala namang nangyayari. Wala namang nangyayari. Practice lang. O, ginagat lang. Konting pagpasarap. And as you can see, there is a Lord going for the turret doon sa may taas. And unti-unti, unti-unting nawawalan dito ng space. Ang side of Evo's SG. At tumama na naman kay Soul. Pero Soul is much more ready. Baga ganyan. Baga parang may arrow to the heart. Laging may arrow to the soul naman. Sa ating game. Grabe si Ito Max. Sobrang lalim naman. Sobrang lalim. Imagine mo tong sobrang lalim ng abisal araw. Lumulusot na sa puso. Diretsong kaluluwa na. Ganong, ganong kasintado si Ito Max. Mm -hmm. Execration. They are just lurking the area. Kung baga, ito yung pinakalamang nila para sa akin. Eh. Like, meron din naman ganito inside of Evo's SG. Pero I feel for execution, yung freedom na meron din sa mapa ngayon. Parang talagang maglagay ng abis at trap. Yeah. Parang talaga makita yung mga tao sa paligid. Pero si Chaco na yung pinakalikod. And they're just gonna, they're just gonna back off. Ayaw nila maging game. Disengage lang sila. I mean, at this point, execution, they're just looking to get all the resources on the side of Evo's SG. Kapag may tinama ng araw, we go for it. Kapag may lumabas, at natala na ng Chaco, we go for it. Pokemon! Ako po, meron siyang truncheon dito, pero this might be a disaster for Evo's SG. Kira po, wapasok. Yung pa na hindi tatama, pero wala ko silang pakialam doon. Renjo and the others, they go in. Pinato pa ni Chakto si Renjo kalabas para save siya. Two members on the side of Evo's SG down. Renjo and the others, andito sila sa area. And si Selena, nasa labas. Bato na siya ng bato ng pana at hindi na naman tatama. Pero those are good arrows kasi laging nasusunod. Laging na-ice line. Ibang members ito. The side of Evo's SG. At ito na si Kel VJ going in. Phantom execution. Tumaba sa karamihan. And that is going to be it. Walang buhay dito para the side ng Evo's SG and execution. They take the series with a two. Zero. Malinis na malinis, gentlemen. Malinis ang Pilipinas ngayon, mga kapatid. 2-0 din kanina. 2-0 din ngayon. Blacklist International 2-0. Execration 2-0 din. Undefeated. Hindi.